Hello and welcome to our GRCC Play and Learn channel. Today I would like to talk to you about an activity sheet that we sent out with a book called Hippo is Happy. And there are two activities on this sheet. There's one for infants and toddlers and one for preschool age, like your three or fours. And I'd like to show you how to do these activities so that you can have fun doing them as well. All right, so for this activity, you're going to need a baby wipe container. Um, and if you don't have one of these hard ones, you can always use the plastic bag that has the hard plastic top. Cut that off and glue that on a box. It's another option for this. Also, the one that I have is just an opening, but there are some that have like the plastic guards to make sure you're only pulling one wipe at a time. Those will work for this activity as well. Next, you're going to need some caps, and I've already put, with permanent marker, um, some letters on these. These are the caps off of an apple juice that I had around my house, but you can also use milk lids, um, jelly jar lids, lids that will fit within the hole, but are larger so that they um, don't present a choking hazard. So for this, um, and I do recommend that you let your, your um, wipe container fully dry out so that it doesn't have the extra moisture in there. But then when you are letting your child explore this, you would just let them pick the cap up and you would say, the name of that letter. So this is the letter A, and they would be able to stick them in there. Oh, you found the letter E, like elephant. And once they've gotten all of their caps in there, then they can just um, dump them out and try again. One more thing I would like to show you here too, is that there are these burrs that are along here. Before I let my child play with these, I would use a nail filer or some sandpaper and I'd sand these down so they're not getting poked by these plastic um, burrs on the edge of this cap. So just uh, be mindful of that as well when you try this activity at home. All right, so for the preschool children activity on this sheet, we're going to need some foam sheets. And what I found in my craft space was just white and brown. You're probably going to have different colors. If you're using leftovers from just another project that you've had around the house, or if you do decide to take a trip to... Dollar Tree, Myers, Walmart, you know, you can get foam sheets pretty much anywhere. And the brighter the colors, the more fun it is, but it's not necessary. You are able to use just whatever you have. All right, so on this foam sheet, I'm going to go ahead and make my first letter. And I'm going to do capital letters here. If you want to work on uppercase and lowercase letters, then you might also include the lowercase in your foam cutouts. And I'm choosing to use this bright permanent marker because uh, my bathtub is white, and I think this will help show up better. And you could make these bigger, you could 
make them smaller. It's totally up to you. And on this brown one, I'm going to make a few letters over here too, just to show you. And this brown foam is a little bit thicker. But both sizes will, both thickness will work. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and take your scissors and cut these out. And I will meet you in my bathroom. All right, so here we are in the bathroom. And I've already put the letters in the water. I did add a little more print to make them stand out a little bit more. But as you can see, they just float in the water and you can stick them up on your bathtub wall. Or they can just float in the water. For some more added fun. And if you wanted to work on your child's name, then you would uh, make sure that you have all the letters in your child's name. I have just five letters here. And as you can see, even though this brown foam is um, pretty thick compared to this really thin white foam, it doesn't matter in the least because they both stick. And then leave no mess.